Want to learn how to turn your boring videos into cinematic masterpieces using Glitch and Chaos from Filmora 11? Then stay tuned. Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects, and today we're going to talk about glitch and chaos and how you can use those effects to really, really enhance your videos. And before we start, I just wanted to show you what I did in that opening scene. Uh, I've got various sound effects. I've got one, just one simple base image. That's all I used was the graveyard scene. And I've got a lot of effects and a lot of elements and stuff like that. So, with Filmora 11, stock images from Pixabay and Unsplash are built into Filmora. So, I used the picture of this girl right here. I'll show you how I did that in a minute. And I used the uh, video of the graveyard, and that's it. That's all I used for this entire video. And this first part, I'll scroll across, is just the stock image. So that's it, which I cut short, just so I could show the unmodified version. And then I took this effect called stylish apocalyptic and I ran it across the entire thing I added a VHS and glitch effect over top of the entire video I've got a chaos effect which I timed to some music right here which I cut to this um, audio track bats fluttering over haunting string tremolo anyway I found the point in the audio where it got intense and that's where I put my chaos in. Chaos is the one that shakes it really hard like that. I've got a glitch distortion right here. You can see it distorted and bled in the girl there using opacity. Just, just dialed it down so it's just faded in. I did a little weather overlay here which I also timed to some music to a sound effect actually. And I put in some black right here just to make it flicker for a second black black and then I used an opener that's included in Filmora and of course I changed the text and I put the screaming lady in the back so let's go ahead and look at some of the effects so if you just go up to effects leave it on recommended is what I like to do just leave it right there on recommended and let's search for glitch now this won't get every single thing that glitches, but it's going to get most of them. Make sure you change your sorting. So if you only want to see free, if you don't have a subscription, uh, or if you want to see some standard stuff, or if you got premium, you can also sort by new, sort by name if you know the approximate name. So let's sort by name. And what that does is put them in alphabetical order. And if you see an arrow, it means I have not downloaded it yet. So that's bad TV signal, chaos one, because there's multiple chaoses. And you get the idea here. There is a lot of chaos and glitch effects that you can use. I mean, a, a whole lot. Let's go with chaos. We only saw one in that last one. Let's see what we can see here. Chaos two, one... Uh, extreme strong shadow particle so as you can see you're not unlimited to your effects here <laughs> there's a lot of them and I like to time them to audio because that's the best use of the glitch and chaos effect for me is to have some sort of audio running behind it and I like to just go to my sound effects and um, you know what are you looking for a screen type in screen and uh, you'll get some female scream, female scream two, evil laughter, and you just double click them to start the downloads. And 
That's how I put this together. So let's look at some examples and how you might be able to use these. Uh, this again is from Pixabay. I've already downloaded it. I'll just drag it in and uh, very briefly all it is is a guy diving into the water and the video is already in slow-mo right there. So let's take right where he hits the water in the big splash right there. Let's go to our effects favorites and I've already got one but uh, we can certainly add some other ones in to see what they look like. And we just want to time this chaos for when the water hits just like that. So it kind of looks like the camera shook, right? Like whoever was doing this shook the camera for some reason. If we put an audio effect in there, we can make that a little more realistic. We can take that chaos, trim it up a little bit, throw a little, uh, a little fade transition in it so it fades out. And then we can get something like this. And then just let that trend, let that fade out. And there's lots of things you can do, guys. Uh, so that's a really cool one. Let's do a glitch distortion instead of the chaos. And we'll do that right about the same point. See that right there? And what you could do here is that could be the prelude to something else. So as the gentleman hits the water camera glitches and you could actually fade into a different scene if you're trying to make a story you could have something happening in the background right here that caused it like a storm would roll in for example so there's a lot of things you could do so i really like using glitch uh, and chaos in my videos it adds a lot to it make sure you time them to some sound effects or music that, that uh, really makes them stand out and make sure you link in the description any of the videos that you use Glitch and Chaos in so that we can all check them out and see what you did, what you came up with, and let us know how you did it. And that's it. I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments, of course. And we'll see you soon on the next video.